Hello guys, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I am helping you to navigate your life with the cards. So it's time for your Leo June a weekly reading for the next week which goes from June 8th to 14th. And the first thing I will do is take my guardian angel spray here and put a little bit of positive energy around everything. <laughs> And then we're gonna start with um, your positive affirmation card for the next week with this little deck here. Angel Spirits Guides, what is the positive affirmation for Leos for next week, please? Oh, thank you. There we go. We have, I will make time for laughter and connection with family and friends. I think that's a very good card for Leos because Leos are very sunny and in some cases outgoing and social people. They love to be around other people. So I think that's a very good card for us. Then I'm gonna take the tarot deck. Angel Spirits Guides, please let us know what is important for Leos for the next week, please. For June 8th to 14th, please. Thank you. Okay, wow. I'm not gonna tell you which cards fell out because I will show you later. <laughs> but it looks good. That's, that's how much I can say right now. Anything else for Leos, please? Angel Spirits Guides, your messages are highly appreciated here. Anything for Leos for the next week, please? Okay, thank you. Do we have anything more for Leos for next week, please? Okay, thank you. Wow, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Good, then we'll go to the next deck. I'm gonna ask the angel deck which angel is gonna be with us beautiful Leos next week please angel spirits guides what is important for us to know for next week for the Leos which angel is gonna be with us to guide us on our way through the next week please your messages are highly appreciated here and we would like you to tell us which angel is going to be with us next week for our gorgeous Leos out there and also for me because I'm a Leo too. <laughs> oh, thank you. There we go. Beautiful. The Knight of Michael. That's one sexy man. <laughs> now, angel advice deck. Angel Spirits guides, what is important for Leos to know for the next week from June 8th to 14th, please? Which angel advice do we have for Leos, please? Thank you. The Three of Emotion. That's absolutely beautiful. Now I'm gonna take one money card because I wanna know what's going on with our financial situation next week. For all the Leos out there who want to seek some improvement in their financial situation and in their job and career situation, is there anything for Leos, please? Any information that we get? Thank you. Okay. So, beautiful. Um, I have your spread finished now and I'm gonna take a nice little picture of it and show you what it was looking like and then we're gonna go into your interpretation and gonna look at the cards one by one so that you know exactly what's expecting you. Let's go into your interpretation. In the past, we have the hanged man in reverse and the five of swords. 
So the Five of Swords is in most cases a card of conflict. Um, also the Five of Swords often speaks a little bit about chaos, not knowing who is saying what about who behind their back. Um, and the Hanged Man in reverse is like there maybe was a traitor who was saying bad things about you, Leo, somebody who was talking badly behind your back, somebody who wanted to um, somehow reduce your reputation, you know, give you a bad reputation around other people. Um, this could be at your workplace, but it could also be in your private field, maybe in your family. But this traitor, he won't get far. I mean, sure, he will convince a few people of you being a bad person, but then it's their loss and not yours, okay? So, um, the most important thing here is that you do not or did not go into victim mode, because if you go into victim mode, that's exactly where they want to have you, okay? Keep that in mind. <laughs> um... So yeah, you, we, you maybe had a few bullies, could also be abused by proxy, you know, if you have a narcissist or sociopath in your surroundings, he will recruit other people to torture you, to give you a hard time, yeah? So this is abuse by proxy, so that could be the case in your past, but I see something very, very good for the future, because in the future we have the Empress and the Magician. So these are two major arcana cards and these are actually really, I'm sorry, <laughs> I just made a mistake. It's not the Empress, it's the, it's the Queen of Cups. It's the Queen of Cups. Anyway, um, with the Magician, you have all of the tools that you need in order to um, start a new life. You know, after this abuse and this uh, conflict situation you now have the possibility to create a new life you have all the tools that you need uh, in front of you and you can create a better future for yourself so with the number one uh, we are always standing at the start of something new and this is going to be something really really good yeah because here we also have a card that indicates that you're going to be successful and that you're going to have the prosperity you're searching for. Um, and all of these things that the magician has on her table, these are gifts from the universe. These are all the tools you need to start out again. And plus, you have someone to back you up. This is the Knight of Michael. So he is coming quite fast, yeah? The new changes, that new opportunity which is coming can be coming quite fast and it could be two opportunities at the same time. So maybe if you're searching for a job, it could be that two job offers are coming at the same time and then you have to pick. And you should, and that's what this card says, rather take the one which is logical than the one which you emotionally prefer. Okay, so use logic to decide quickly which of the two opportunities you're going to take. Um, and it's also talking about sudden changes and some about somebody strong, committed, intellectual and diligent. Okay, um, keep in mind that you should be diplomatic as much as you can. Sometimes as a Leo, we are too direct and then we come across as if we were um, not friendly, but actually by being direct, we just want to express our honesty. But sometimes this honesty and this directness of words can seem not very diplomatic. So try to hold your tongue a bit, try to keep it all friendly, because as soon as you go into the whole um, anger or victim mode, then people are going to start pointing fingers at you saying, look who's going crazy. <laughs> and you don't want that. So keep it cool, stay calm, be diplomatic, take it as it comes and just decide what's good for you with your logic. Um, then we have the three of emotion. This is your angel advice card. So the three of emotion is talking about happy endings and beautiful new beginnings. So this is exactly what we had up here. We have the ending of this conflict situation of the five of swords and we have a great new beginning with the number one, the magician. Yeah. Um, so with this card here, 
you could get news from other people about pregnancies, about weddings, um, any occasion which is really, really happy uh, about maybe engagements, about uh, graduation. Somebody could have graduated from school or university. So you're hearing some very positive news from your surroundings. And uh, then we have a money card. The money card is just a little reminder. It looks like this. I'm going to show you the other side too the picture. So it says, um, I develop the ability to choose my thoughts. This is a reminder that you should always choose the positive thought rather than the negative one. And we can train ourselves to do that. So every time I catch myself having a negative thought, then I start tapping my thymus, but tapping not in the sense of slapping as a punishment, but more tapping in the sense of a gentle reminder that I delete these negative thoughts and then I will replace it with a positive reframing thought. Yeah? So this is one of the things you could do. And then of course we had your positive affirmation card which said I will make time for laughter and connection with family and friends. And this is going absolutely perfectly here with the three of emotions where you hear of a wedding or anything like that. So I think that's a very positive constellation that we have here. Yeah, in the past we have taken a lot, Leo, we have been to hell and back, but we can, we are magicians. We, we have everything we need to start our new life and it's no problem. And we are typically very positive and sunny people who are looking into the future with a positive mindset. So I think that's absolutely perfect for us, right? Have a great next week. Like, share and subscribe. And I hope to see you again. Bye.